So today I'm gonna to help you hit straighter drives and I can do that no matter what shape you're hitting currently because the drill that we're doing here can be adapted to fix any swing fault that you've got or any ball curvature that you've got. What is it? Well, we're really gonna be looking at how we change the delivery of the club and the club face at impact. It's gonna help you straighten out your drives. I want you to look at your golf ball and I want you to imagine there is a clock around that golf ball. So when we look down towards the target, this would be 12 o'clock. So when we've got curve on the golf ball that we don't want, it's effectively because we have a club path which is not straight and we have a club face which is disagreeing with that. How do we change it? Well, let's say we're a right to left player, someone who draws the ball too much or hooks the ball. Your golf club will be traveling in from around about, let's say seven o'clock on that clock face through to around about one o'clock on that clock face. It's traveling from in to out. We need the opposite feel. Now, impact is key. You know, we know that impact is the most important position in golf. This is where most golfers go wrong, however. If I'm trying to change my impact and change my club path, I have to start thinking about that here, right at the top. As soon as I get to the top of my goal swing, what I do in the early stages of my downswing are key, vital to change that club path. So many golfers will get to the top, they'll start down as normal, and when they get to about here, they're thinking about changing their club path too late absolutely too late by the time you get down to this point here club path is already dictated it's already decided you're not going to change it so if i'm a hooker of the golf ball i need to feel that my club travels from a five o'clock position to an 11 o'clock position they're out to win so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my setup i'm going to visualize that clock face i'm going to visualize that five and that 11 i'm going to make a swing to the top and i'm going to think to myself what would i have to do to get the hands and the club out to that five o'clock position. I would have to make a movement such as this. You can see as I'm doing that, it's moving my hands and club out. Now when I swing across, it's the opposite. It's working more out to win. Now the chances are when you come to hit a golf ball, it's not gonna be that extreme. It's gonna be pretty neutral, but that's what you have to feel. So that's how you fix that hook. What about a slicer? Well, a slicer already has that club path, that out to win. They're gonna change that. So we've got seven o'clock to one o'clock, that's the opposite feeling. But again, if we leave it too late, we've got very little chance. So as I get to the top from here, I've already got to be thinking about how do I get my club to a position where it can swing in from seven through to one. So we have to think about the early part of your downswing. What you do in that first millisecond is so important. Using that visual on the ground is really gonna help. For me, I hook the ball, always have done. So I'm gonna hit this shot and I'm gonna try and work as hard as I can to get the golf club and the hands out to five o'clock. And that should help me hit it a little straighter. And that one, I would say, well, I was gonna say it was a little fade. Well, maybe it's out of straight. It's probably a, a push to say it was a, as a fade. But do you know what? That's what I'm after. I'm trying to feel that extreme movement. It doesn't happen. What actually happens is I get a really nice straight shot. So whichever ball flight you hit, a hook or a slice, that can really help. That's gonna change path. There's something else in the mix which changes the curve. And that's the club face. So we put the two together. Clock face drill, are you trying to work to five or are you trying to work to seven? That's gonna help with your path. In terms of the club face, how do we change that? Well, actually, it doesn't need to be that difficult. It can be quite easy. Think about it this way. Let's say I've got a pretty neutral grip, which I have. If I open up my trail hand, wherever my hand points is where the club face points. If I twist the face open to the right, hand points to the right. So what I have to do is that if I'm a hooker of the golf ball, which I am, I have to feel like I swing out to five o'clock. And then as I swing through the ball, I have to feel like my palm feels like it stays pointing at the target for longer. That's gonna control the club face. If I'm the slicer, who generally has that, I have to, from the top, I have to work down early, get this delivery of seven o'clock, and then I have to feel like my palm faces more down towards the ground because that controls the club face. So if we can give you, arm you with the tools to change the path, influence how the club has been delivered to the ball, 
and change what the club face is doing through impact, that's everything you need to be able to change the curve and the golf ball. Hone in on the one that you want. Do you want that slight draw? Do you want that fade? Do you want that straight shot? All you need is in this video. It's not easy to do, but the ideas can be absolutely transforming your ball flights within 10, 15 shots if you really work hard on those feelings, those ideas. So let me try that one again. I'm going to actually see if I can hit a fade this time. So for me, that's up. I have to work super hard on getting the hands of the club out to this five o'clock position and then feel like I hold the club face off. Fade is not a shot that I'm particularly good at, but let's have a, have a go. I'm going to try as hard as I can here. Oh, not, oh, it started left. Not bad, but again, it's not a hook. It's not a draw, which is my tendency. So I know that that drill is working. And with a few more shots, I'm gonna be able to find some better feels for that. So use the clock face around the golf ball. Use your palm to control the club face. You can change your ball flight. You can hit better drives pretty quickly as well.